Welcome to the CounterGo Quick Start Guide. I'm going to show you a few key features to set up in CounterGo so you can get started making accurate quotes as soon as possible. We are going to edit your default price list, set up your quote form, and then I'll show you a few tips and tricks in the drawing section to make it easier for you to start quoting. Let's head over to our price list. From the left-hand menu, click on Price List. Notice that one list is already enabled. A CounterGo quote can only pull from one price list even if you have more than one. Price lists are independent of each other, so each one must be updated manually if you need to make changes. I suggest adding all of your pricing into one list to start. Click on Retail, then Edit Price List. Now click on Materials. This is where you are going to enter all of the material you use in your business. Click on Add Material, and on the drop-down menu, you'll see a full list of products we already have available to add. If for any reason a product you use is not on this list, then choose Add Custom Material instead. Type in all of the information, then add colors for that product, one name per line. Now that we have some material in here, let's talk pricing. CounterGo can price by the slab square footage or by the countertop square footage. If pricing by the slab, you'll want to change your colors to be priced by the slab. Calculate the price per square foot for the total slab and enter that number. If pricing by the countertop square footage, then leave as is and enter the price. In each material, you can also create price groups to group colors together and apply a price to all of the colors within the group at one time. Using price groups is a quick way to update your pricing. We've got our material set. Let's go over to fabrication and installation. If you have separate installation and fabrication charges, enable installation here for the charge to appear when quoting. Add your retail price for fabrication and or installation in the boxes. You can have specific fabrication and installation charges for specific material. We have step-by-step -step info on that in the knowledge base, but for now, you can edit the price manually in step six as long as editable price on quote is checked. All right. We've got our material, fabrication, and installation set. Those are the essentials. Go through the remainder of the price list when you can and add in your prices. If there are things you don't charge for, enter zero. Before you exit, make sure to save or all changes will be lost. Time to set up your quote form. Head over to settings, quote and order, then forms. There are a few default templates provided. The most important form template to edit is called Quote. The entire form is made of boxes. You can click and hold any box to move it around or click once to see what properties you can edit for that particular box or delete it altogether. Be sure to add in your logo and business information into the header box. If you'd like to show every line item price on your quote, click in the box with the line items and select which prices to display. Lastly, be sure to edit the quote terms at the bottom of this form to match your company's policies. Okay, we've edited the price list, we set up the quote form. Now let's create a quick quote together so I can show you a few tips and tricks. Head over to quotes on the left. This is where all of your quotes will appear once you start drawing. To create a quote, click on create at the top, name your quote, and either create an account for it to be stored under, or choose standalone, which is great for any walk-in or residential customers. CounterGo has an option to create a quote without a drawing. Click the other counter button from the right navigation. Enter the total countertop square footage and any additional details. Visit the CounterGo knowledge base for more on this style of quoting. Let's make a quick drawing. Click, hold, and drag to create a countertop. You can click on any step at any time, moving back and forth between steps. Notice in each step that things highlight orange. If something highlights orange, click on it to make changes. Different options will appear for different features. Let's take a look at step five. Here in step five, you can select a product, create the slab layout, and make sure everything fits on the estimated number of slabs. On to step six. Your quote may have some prices and some red areas. This is because the price list isn't fully set up yet but you can still manually make adjustments so that you can start quoting now. Click on any of the items that show a red, no price available, and enter in a price for this quote so we can send it today. 
Once that all looks good, save the quote in the top right corner. This leads to the quote view page. Here you can add in the quote address, attach any files, and email your quote. Now, if you have any more questions, check out the CounterGo knowledge base, reach out to your onboarding specialist to schedule a quick call, or email us at support at moreaware.com. Happy quoting!